here today for Lauren Fawn and welcome back to the channel. Today I have an appreciation card to share with you all. I'm going to be using the Big Scripty Words stamp set as well as the Crazy Antics stamp set as well. And I'm just going to be using a few of the little images on this stamp set. I'm also going to be using the You're the Best sentiment as well as big hugs from the other stamp set. In addition to those two stamps, I'm going to be using this small slimline with lift the flaps dies. And I'm actually not going to be using any of the large dies. I'm just going to be using the little star to create a little die cut background. So I'm going to start off with a piece of watercolor cardstock. This is just my go-to for ink blending. And since I decided to go with the stars and not the hearts, I went for a yellow background. So I'm using some Distress Inks. I'm using Squeeze Lemonade, Mustard Seed and Fossilized Amber. And I'm also using these blending tools here. So I'm starting off with Squeeze Lemonade and I'm working my way from the bottom to the top. And I'm going a lot more heavy handed on the bottom and lighter on the top. I'm fading off into white because I just think that that looks a little bit nicer when you're using all one color. So once I finish ink blending on the squeeze lemonade, starting from the bottom again, I'm going to go in with a little bit of mustard seed just to darken that up a little bit. I'm going around halfway up the card just to leave some of that squeeze lemonade color in there. And then once I've finished with the mustard seed, I'm going to go in with fossilized amber and just ink blend at the very bottom to make that super nice and dark. I'm going to go over once more with squeeze lemonade just to make sure that that blends all together. So once that's all blended and I really like the way that that looks, I'm going to go ahead and use a nozzle from a spray bottle and just flick some water onto the background to give it a little bit of extra interest. I'm then going to pick up the excess water with a paper towel and dry it off with a heat tool. Once the background was all completed, I then went ahead and took another white piece of cardstock. I cut this down to about three and three quarter inches wide by five inches tall. And I just went ahead and die cut four of the stars from the die set earlier out of the background. I was trying to line them up straight to begin with, but decided that wasn't really going to work because I didn't map out the dimensions or anything, so I ended up just kind of going a little bit crooked. I just took an eraser to the background because I realized there was a couple of smudges on there, and that just cleaned it right up. Now that the base is all completed for my card, I just went ahead and set that off to the side, and now it's time to work on my images. So I just have the Crazy Antics stamp set here and I picked out a bunch of images that I wanted to use on my card and stamped them down on some white cardstock. I'm then using my Copic markers which is my go-to colouring medium and I'm going to colour in all these images. So this is the reason why I went for a yellow background instead of a pink one for the hearts is because I'm going to be using a lot of red on my card already and I didn't want it to be like too overwhelming and overpowering of one color. So for the red areas I'm using R37, R27, R24 and R35. Now I'm coloring in one of the little mice. So I'm using W5, W3, W1 and W00 for him. Just working from dark to light since I found this to be a little bit easier. Now for the ants I wanted them to appear black. Obviously you don't want to use a black marker though, so a good way to get around this is to use really dark grey markers. So I'm using W9, W7, W5 and W3. I ended with W3 just because I still wanted their little faces to show up through the marker and the W3 was just light enough to do that. Now for the picnic basket and the little popsicle stick, I'm using some E40 markers. I'm using E44. E43, E42, and E41 for that. And then for the bottom half of the basket, I'm using the dark E40s. So I'm bringing in E49 and E47, and then finishing off with the E44 and E43 once again. With the darker shades of marker though, they look completely different. 
Um, and I like how all the tones match. And then for the bun of the sandwich, I just used some E50 markers and then used a little bit of yellow, green and pink to fill the sandwich and colour the popsicle as well. I went ahead and cut out all of the images and set them down and arranged them kind of on my scene a little bit. And I taped them all together with some painters tape to make sure that they didn't move and the positioning would still be correct when I went to adhere it down. I added some foam tape onto the back of this die cut star piece and I'm going to pop it up onto my background. I really like that I left the border for the colour around the cut and I love how that yellow is shining through the die cut stars. That's why I really like using foam tape, it just adds a lot of dimension and shadows and it looks really nice. I then went ahead and added foam tape onto the back of all of my images and I'm just going to be adhering these down into place. I have my little um, scene that I had adhered together earlier and I just adhered those down using different layers of foam tape and then I'm finishing off using the little ants. So I just had four down the bottom and I'm adding one on the handle of the picnic basket just because I thought it'd be super cute. Once those are all adhered, I really enjoy adding different textures onto my card. So I decided to pull out this hemp cord that I had in my stash and I just tied a little bow around or in the center of two of the stars. I just really like the way this looks. It adds more dimension onto the card, adds another element and it also adds a different texture which is super nice. So I just went ahead and cut off the ends. Now for the sentiment, I'm going to be using the big hugs from the big scripty words stamp set. This is an oldie but a goodie, one of my all time favorite stamp sets. I love being able to cut out the sentiments really easily. So that's when I'm going to go ahead and use it today. I stamped it down onto some scrap white cardstock just with some black ink and I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. And then for my additional sentiment, once I've gone ahead and adhered this down using foam tape, I'm going to be using the Crazy Antics stamp set again. And I'm just going to be using the simple You're the Best. You could definitely use like a themed sentiment from that set for sure. And it would have been so adorable. But I like to keep my sentiments on my cards like pretty neutral. Um, and so I'm going to use just the You're the Best for a simple appreciation card. Um, I just think it'll be super cute. So I have this brown cardstock. It's actually wood grain cardstock, but I just flipped it over and used the uh, smooth side instead. Um, just because I really thought this brown light matched the picnic basket really well. And I really didn't want like a pop of black on there at all. So I thought the brown was a little bit more muted and nice. And so once I did here down at an angle under the big hugs, sentiment. I also made sure to kind of tuck it under that bow as well just to combine it all on the card a little bit better. That finishes up my card for today so I really hope that you guys enjoyed a super simple card for today. I really love die cut backgrounds like this though. It's really easy to build a scene on top of and it's really nice to use those basic shape dies. So thank you so much for stopping by today. All the supplies will be listed down below and over at the blog and I'll catch you all next time. Thanks so much for stopping by today. 